Hey guys, Penguin here from the Gaming Press, and from now on I will have a full-blown schedule for you guys. Every Friday we will try to get out an awesome top 10, and every week I will upload two Fortnite videos. This will change over time, but right now, top 10s every Friday will not and can be anything gaming, TV shows, or movie-related stuff. So let's hop into top 10 zombie maps in Call of Duty. We rank these on how fun they were, how complex they were, Simpli how simplistic it was, and of course, the Wonder Weapon. So please enjoy it, comment down below for another top 10 idea, it will be heard, and leave a like. Number 10, Revelations. This map sounds great with all of our favorite training spots, Wonder Weapon, Staffs, all g great things, but it was kind of disappointing because, you know, it's disappointing. And it is a fun map though. This map can be complex in some ways, but is never going to top the other things on the list. So yeah, let's just kick it off with number 10, Revelations, and let's continue. Number nine, Moon. Even though it is hated on a lot, I played for I played it for the first time, got pack a punch and everything. It was really fun. You are put into a space as an original Dempsey, Nikolai, etc. The space aspect is handled really well since you have to get a helmet instead of going out and suffocating. Yeah, but it makes it a lot fun and it makes you think a little bit more, which is really cool. The Wonder Weapons, which is kind of a hacker, not really weapon, but still really cool, and makes a good last impression of Black Ops. Sadly, the map is just way too simple, but it's still a good fun map. Number eight, Garage Kobe. This map is really awesome, but sadly, all of our other maps top it with you. It has an interesting system having you hop onto a dragon and begin taking and then and then being ta taken to pack a punch which is sort of complex of a method but the wonder weapons is a buildable and mystery box that are pretty powerful so get on them and the amount of fun i have on this map is the amount of times i get on the dragon because this map is a pain in the butt sometimes number seven barry this is a really cool inventive map that puts you in an underground location with many things to do the way you get Pack-a-Punch is very simple, but it's a little hard since you have to go through the witch's house and steal your money, and I hate those. The Wonder Weapons are pretty dank, counting that one puts you into a really OP spot on the map, and there's a bunch of camping spots for high rounds, and it is a lot of fun because of how easy it is to set up. I mean, Pack-a-Punch on round one or two is pretty easy for me. Number six, Darice or the Giant. This is the map that got everybody into zombies and introduced a load of new things that are expected for us these days, including Pack-a-Punch, Raygun, Perks, and more. This map introduced all of it and, of course, has the most potential for high round games as well. It is simply, sadly, you know, really boring training spots, but, you know, it makes up for that with all the other things that it added in the brand new mystery box. Totally. Not really. This will always be a classic and a fun map to play, though. Now we're getting to the top five with Shadows of Evil. The map is very creative, fun, a little complex with a method to get pack punch slash wonder weapons, and it has some new aspects to it, like the wall running. The cool thing about this map is that it is a city, and we usually don't see a no holds barred city, so that is very creative. The map overall is really fun too, it has an artsy style to it, a cool easter egg, and story-wise returns the characters we know and love. Number 4, Kino Derto. I don't know if I said that right, but let's be honest guys, after World at War we had almost forgotten about the zombies for the next 3, 4, 2 years, I don't know. And there were a new generation of gamers that came in, and this map is a map that nobody will ever forget. This map has the most iconic scene ever, the theater, and it has many high round records on it. And it's perfect because it brought a new generation of zombie players. It brought in all the old stuff from World at War, and it was just, it was just perfect. It was really fun, and yeah, it's a little, it solidified training for years with all of its great spots. Yeah, it's pretty good. At number three, we have Mob of the Dead. This is an awesome prison map with some very easy objectives, easy enough Easter egg, and an amazing wonder weapon. The prison quality of it all was handled very well, and it looked awesome, creating the roof and cafeteria training spots for COD fans too. Yes, this is a great map. The Easter egg is easy, simple, and plays into things that would happen in the event the map was based off of. 
which makes it even more immersing. The Wonder Weapon, the Blunder Guy is an awesome, awesome, awesome Wonder Weapon. So good, on, so good job on them for that. Number two, we have Dorizon Draha. Okay, first of all, let me talk. This map has four variations and sort of complex upgrades for the Wonder Weapon, and the upgrades are even more devastating and deadly. The actual map concept is great considering it's pretty much a castle slash fortress with a panzer, standard zombies, and great training spots like the anti-gravity room, undercroft slash undercroft, the lab, bastion, and even the courtyards. The, the easter egg makes sense since it puts you into a different little um, area. Well, well, it ties up the origin story a little. So good on them. And speaking of origins, number one, we have the legendary origins. Could it be anything else? Other than the mud, you are, other than the mud that pretty much sucks, you are in a World War One trench that makes the whole map your training spot. As I discovered, taking on the panzers, the mud that puts you in a different mindset, the crazy place, all of these places just like, you can use them all to your advantage and it's awesome. The fact that you have four different staffs and four different variations, like four different upgrades for these staffs, staffs is awesome. And the Easter egg puts our beloved characters on a new journey. This map is just too awesome though, and I had to put it as number one, even though in my heart, Dorizen Draha is number one. But this map, sadly, just it just tops it. I'm sorry guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and yes, I do edit all my videos now, so if it seems a little worse, maybe better, I wish, then let me know. Also, that if you comment a top 10 for me in the comments, I will make sure to do it. So leave a like and I will see you guys all later. Make sure you comment that down below and I promise I'll get it to you guys. See you guys all later. Bye bye